This episode is brought to you by PayPal. These days, choices are everywhere. Like, for instance, the milk in your coffee. Would you like it from a cow? A nut? A tree? Everyone wants options. And now your customers have a new option in the way they pay. With PayPal in person. Just generate your unique QR code in the PayPal app for them to scan. And start accepting PayPal in person today. Learn more at paypal.com slash US slash get QR code. This episode is brought to you by Best Buy. Best Buy celebrates the tech obsessed. The ones who aren't just ahead of the curve, but leave it in the dust. Because they know the latest tech has the power to make life better. Like fitness equipment that makes personal best more reachable. Or smart security systems that give the whole home peace of mind. No matter what you're obsessing about next, Best Buy can help you get there. Online. In store. At your door. Best Buy. Let's talk about what's possible. Explore more at BestBuy.com. Phone? When are you gonna? It's a voice memo. So... Why would you need a recording of my students singing? They're not that good. Well, I just thought it's so easy. To watch. Shh, 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 shh. So... Remind yourself the Fenderman family tree, three siblings Bobby, Judy, Richie. Ooh, can you say that again? About City Hall? Yeah. Oh my God, you're recording this. Yes. What, so you can prove it in court? Well, I just want you on the record. You are okay with not having a big wedding. No guests. <laughs> oh my God, you're insane. Yes, confirmed, yes, confirmed. You hear that? I confirmed it. I'm on the record. I am okay with not having a big wedding. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know about it's no awful. guests though. We gotta talk about that. Well, mm, it's on the record. Doesn't there have to be a wedding? behind us. Sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. Uh, what are you doing? Taking pictures? No, I, I was recording. What are you recording? I'm just capturing Snoqualmie in all its glory. <laughs> Do you ever listen back? Not yet. Hmm. You ever think you're going to? I guess when I miss it. Thursday, July 28th, 2009. My name is Judith Ford. And I have been lying to my husband since the moment I met him. I'm going on the record here to make this right, to remember. Um, the, the time is 6.43, and I seem to have left my charger at Denny's, which means I have about 30 minutes, if I'm lucky, before this cuts out. So. So I don't have very long to convince him, I guess. Your destination is on the right. Oh, Okay. 
Made it in one piece. I can see Jace's family country house or log cabin or whatever. Definitely get the appeal of it. Peaceful, remote, great place to get some me time. Particularly if you've just found out your wife has been uh, you know, lying about who she is and refusing to acknowledge it. Oops, there goes the element of surprise. Oh, I think someone's drilling inside, so maybe he didn't hear me. Not that it matters. It's not like I'm springing a trap. You hear that, future Judith? Not a trap. Mission is to salvage the most important relationship of your life. Just gotta make it to the porch. All I'll have to do is just uh, do it. I just have to do it. Jace? I can hear you on the other side of the door. You might as well just open it. Or you can keep me on the hook. Tough, but fair, considering circumstances. Uh, I'm, I'm slipping something through the mail slot, cool? Let me know when you've opened it. I'm just gonna stare at these trees. <gasps> Mosquitoes, fun, okay, well, I guess there's two options. Either you're my husband, Jace Brian Connolly, who resides at 112 Secretariat Drive and plays under the video game handle GameBoy123, or you're a stranger in his childhood home. In either event, it'd be really cool of you to open the door. Also, I have to pee, so... Okay. I'll play your game. I'm not me. You're not you. Well, whoever you are, you share a lot in common with my husband, Jace. You have the same car, so either he sold it or maybe you stole it and didn't change the plates. So I feel like I know you, like we've met before. Like 27 hours to get to this place If you were him You'd open up the door I know you're there I know you're listening you Deserve to get to know the person you're trying your damnedest to let go. I know you care. Whoever you are, you have a thousand reasons not to trust you. Ever I am. am But I know This is the first time in my life that I am sure I drove like 27 hours replacing 
I'm only letting you in so you don't get eaten alive. So you're saying that I won't be eaten alive in the house? Not by mosquitoes. Please close Hi, the door behind. Hi, Jason. And he's walking away. For the record, I think Jace is still upset, which totally checks out. I can't hear you! Yeah, I'm just ooh, being molested by a carp. Who are you talking to? I'll ask the questions. What are you doing here? Is that a duck? Are we in the fourth season of Friends? Uh, yeah. This is the one where we find out that Rachel is a compulsive liar and has been lying about who she is for the past two years, and even that her name is Rachel, and so Ross gets rightfully upset and is like, get away from me, crazy person, but of course she somehow tracks him down even though he never told her the address of this place. You think I'm a Rachel? I don't know who you are. That's why I'm here. That's why I have these. Can you put the drill down? It's very intimidating. Do you know what you've done? Like, do you actually know, or have you lied to yourself so much you've developed selective memory? Let's see if I remember. If I recall correctly, I gave you a fake name when we met, and I continued to use that name while we dated, and then as we got married... Uh, more than just a fake name. You think I care about a fake name? Yes. Well, you're right, I do. But I care more about the fact that I asked you point blank and you didn't come clean, which makes you more than just someone who lied. That makes you a liar. Okay. And I don't have time for liars. Okay. Why do you have your phone out? Are you recording this? Just a little bit. Are you being serious right now? It's for me. It's for you? That, that is a really cute duck. Correct, yes. He's the best duck in the world. Where did he come from? I just... We, uh, his name is Henry... And he's here because I found him on the patio and invited him inside. He loves Cheerios and has incredible comedic timing and is kind of my best friend right now, which I'm sure sounds insane to you. But you know what? I feel like I don't have to explain things, seeing as how you refuse to explain even the most basic things to me. Okay, like, no. what is your name? Where were you born? Do you actually need food and sleep to function, or are you some sort of cyborg? I wasn't judging. He seems like a really chill duck. Well, he is very chill. Whatever gets you through this stressful time, Jace, I'm all for it, really. I only came out here to ask you to do one thing. One thing. Yeah, one thing. Uh, what was that? That was the sound of a shelf I just installed, buckling under the weight of a hundred books. Ah. I knew I was putting. And there goes my grandmother's urn. And uh, actually, I have no idea what that is. Pardon me. I I know I'm not supposed to be asking questions, but your moms are loaded. Couldn't they have hired someone to do all this work on the house? They don't know. They don't know you're renovating. You know, renovating is such a strong word. Do you smell smoke? Uh, yeah, that's a fire. Just, uh, just stay calm. Just, uh, just a small electrical fire. Would you hand me that blanket? Uh, yeah. For the record, Jace is putting out a fire with what looks like an antique Quaker quilt. What? Oh, damn it. I thought that was something else. Uh, well, as you can see, your timing, uh, as always, is impeccable. One thing, Jace, that's all I'm asking for. Uh, one thing. I came out here for one thing. And that little bitty one thing was to forget about you. 
But I guess I've learned something That there's never really one thing Cause pretty quickly one thing Evolves into two or three or more For example, see the light in the hallway? It was always flickering Ever since I was little It was always flickering After three days here It was unbearable My list grew To fix the light bulb And one Forget about you Drove to town, bought a bulb, one of those new LEDs, brought it home, put it in, but the wires weren't connecting. Suddenly they went on the fritz. My list grew. Three rewire the ceiling, two fix the light bulb, and one forget about you. So I went to the attic, and to my utmost delight, there it is, black mold killing us slowly each night. And I feel it's my duty to remove it. My list grew. Four, kill the black mold. Three, rewire the ceiling. Two, fix the light bulb. And one, forget about you. Yeah, but my one thing is really I'm not done. Just See the tarp in the hallway that used to be a gallery wall. Lots of pictures, super classy. Sad I had to make the call, but in scouring for mold, I had to take the place apart. Because sometimes to solve a problem, you follow it back to the start. Oh, who's that? No one. It just does that when it rains. <laughs> When I tried to rebuild the wall that I'd taken down, I discovered two holes burrowed right into the ground. And I didn't have the heart to kill them, so my list grew. But then the cement that I found to fill in the gaping holes wasn't good. It didn't stick. Apparently, cement can get old. In trying to fix one thing, I made everything worse. My list grew. Nine, buy new cement. Eight, take care of this duck I found. Seven, clean out the pipes for the bathroom and the kitchen. Six, rebuild the wall. Five, keep out the pest. Four, kill the black mold. Three, rewire the ceiling. Two, fix the light bulb. And one, forget about you. I think it's lovely to see you fix up this old house. Because you want it to be nice for your family But I think maybe you're obsessing over things you can control Hoping to control your feelings for What? No, 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 no so These things needed to get done Okay, here. okay just, just, Looking just stop moving towards me Just stay on your side of the room, okay, so we can talk this out no, listen. To forget about no, listen. Me. If my moms are going to be so nice to have me out here and, well, and respect my need to be alone during this really insane, crazy, impossible time of my life, the absolute least I can do is, you know, just just go around and 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 and, and destroy me. their house. After tonight, you'll never hear from me again. If that's what you want, everything we need to fix our marriage is inside this envelope. I'm asking for one chance. We'll do this one thing It is the first thing We're doing together Since I found out you were not who I thought you were Part of the whole thing, Jace? No, the actual record. Can you? Uh, oh, 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 yeah. S sorry. Thirty Six Questions is created by Two Up. We'd like to tell you about our latest podcast, Shipworm. Shipworm is something new in podcasting. It's a feature-length one-off audio movie. Like 36 Questions, it's a high-stakes drama featuring serious Broadway talent. It stars Quentin Earl Darrington from Once on this Island and Ragtime, 
and Miriam Silverman from Broadway's Junk. It also features 36 Questions' own Jesse Shelton. The Shipworm audio movie is available right now, today, for free. It's more than a year in the making, and it's Tuop's most ambitious and unconventional podcast yet. We hope you enjoy Shipworm, and thank you again for listening. Support for this podcast comes from Progressive RV Insurance. First aid kit, flashlights, firewood, and insurance. Whatever you're bringing on your next RV escape, you'll want protection from Progressive for as little as $125 per year. Take the road more protected with a leader in RV insurance, offering great discounts and savings. Get a quote in under four minutes at Progressive.com to see how much you could save. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Annual premium for basic liability policy. Not available in all states. Rate not offered in Mississippi, New Jersey, and Oregon. Discounts not available in all states or situations. Ah, For the record, it is now 7.06 p.m., My estranged husband, Jace, has not kicked me out of his childhood home. Yet? In fact, at this very moment, he is examining the contents of the mystery envelope I handed him. So far, he's found a manila folder. Uh, you're gonna want to shake that out. For the record, Jace is picking up a book of matches. And now, he's picking up his wedding band, which he left on the kitchen counter for me because he's a drama queen. What's this? Jace is looking at a document. The experimental generation of interpersonal closeness, a procedure, and some preliminary findings. My wedding ring, a book of matches, and a scientific paper. Oh, I get it. He's nodding his head. The 36 questions. The 36 questions. Well, it's definitely a poetic gesture. You and I fell in love when we did the 36 questions two years ago. Why wouldn't it work twice? Mm. But the gesture isn't over yet. I knew it'd be tough for you to move forward without first moving on, which is why you have the book of matches and I have this. What's that? For the record, I have in my hand, bundled together by a single rubber band, every document I forged over the past two years in order to be Natalie Cook. I brought this here because I would like you, Jace, to be the person who sets everything that is and was Natalie Cook on fire. So you want me to torture Sam's club card? It's what it signifies, Jace. For the record, I am placing the bundle of fake Natalie documents in a trash can, and am now spraying it with this lighter fluid. And placing the trash can on the table between me and Jace. So, now all Jace has to do is light a match and drop it in. That's all Jace has to do. Yes, that's all Jace has to do. Burn your documents for you. Burn my documents for us. Here, I'll even light the match for you. You just have to drop it in. For the record, Jace is staring at the match looking incredulous. Why is it so important I torch your documents? It's not. It's important that we torch them together. There is something to the ritual of setting some old shit on fire. A way of saying this now lives in memory. A way of saying it's only a memory. There's something to the ritual of setting a torch to what is gone. The Vikings did it to honor a memory. And now we do it to honor who I used to be. ridiculous. Why? I don't see why I have to join your little cremation ceremony. You're the one who made her up. It was a bit more collaborative than you're remembering. All I want right now is the same thing I wanted two weeks ago. The truth. Why did you lie to me? And why does Natalie Cook exist in the first place? 
the person who I was on the day you and I met was deeply ashamed of who she had become so deeply ashamed of what she'd done and when you showed her questions the 36 questions she looked ahead and saw who she wanted to be she built a past made up a history details that fit this person named natalie For you to understand perfectly I loved her too As much as you And she'd want you to bury her with me Okay Okay what? Give me the match There is something to the ritual Of setting fire to the lie A way of saying that's one win for honesty What's done is done Tonight, I said goodbye to Natalie. She was thirty-three. Tonight, we say goodbye to Natalie and her fake IDs. She was a man. Things really roaring. Yeah. I I put a lot of lighter fluid in. <coughs> Is that smoke gonna be a problem? No. <laughs> None of the fire alarms work. Mm. Uh, for the record, Jace is opening a window. Ooh, for the record, one of the panes yeah, just... Yeah, I think, can we cool it on the record for a sec? Okay. Can you bring me the bucket? Sure thing. What are you doing? Scattering me to the wind? It'd be great to not have this place reek of smoke when my mom's come back. I'm handing Jace the bucket. Jace is emptying out the bucket. Now he's spanking the bucket's bottom. And like that, he's gone. How do you feel? Sad and stupid. Me too. Particularly because I just made it impossible for you to leave, because of course I would. But how do you mean? You have no identifying documents. How are you supposed to get in your car and drive to a hotel and check yourself in? Come here, Henry. Eat your Cheerios. I... I have my passport. You do? Yeah. It's in the car. You want to see it? What's the name on it? My legal name? Judith Ford. Yes. Judith Ford. For the record, Jace has a far-off look in his eye. You want to meet Judith? I... I think it would be nice to just see the document that has your name. Totally. <sighs> okay, Henry, we're stepping out just for a second. Try not to tear the place apart. Whoa, did you hear that? Oh, yeah. It's God bowling. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. I can't believe I'm entertaining this. I should not be entertaining this. I know that. Why do you know that? Because it's pointless. Okay. It's pointless. How is it pointless? It's pointless because... Okay, I'm going to see your passport mm -hmm. with your real name on it. Yes. With a picture taken before we met. <laughs> yes. I'm going to see proof that you are who you say you are, and then what? Then we meet. And we do the 36 questions. Like a couple of strangers? 
Hit reset, act like you didn't lie to me for two years? We don't act like anything. If you do the 36 questions with me, you'll meet Judith Ford. But I don't have 36 questions. I have one question. Why did you do it? And that one question has a thousand answers. You're... You're asking me why I made a split-second decision in the heat of the moment of meeting you. That's my life, Chase. That's me. That's Judith. Nice to meet you. Here's my passport. Would you like to do the 36 questions with me? Judith Ford. Like the truck. <laughs> no relation. I'm pretty sure. It says you got this in Arizona. When were you even in Arizona? Are you from Arizona? Are you actually really good at golf and you were just saying you hated it so that I wouldn't see how good you were? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, 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 wait. Wait, let's stay on task here. What do you mean? Jace Connolly, answer me honestly. Right now, given the choice of anyone in the world, who would you want as a dinner guest? You're trying to trick me. <laughs> I just asked you a question. No. You asked me the question, the first question of 36. It doesn't matter, I'm not answering it. Why not? Because, because you don't want me to know the truth? Uh, Anyone in the world, your house, dinner, get to know each other, spill all. Who would it be? I don't have to answer this. You're already telling me. Michelle Obama. Wrong. Who would it be, Jace? Anyone in the world. dinner with Judith, okay? If I could have anyone over, it would be Judith, as much as it pains me to say. I wish it were somebody else, but given the choice of anyone in the world, the only person I want over for dinner is you. Yes, I'd have dinner with Judith So I could ask questions or maybe one question Who are you? And why were you living a lie? It would probably end in a fight But once I knew the truth, the real truth Maybe I could stay strong and politely send Judith out into the night That'd be nice Yes, I would break bread with the woman who lied to my face Because in my head I've been wondering how she kept up the pace To live in a lie for so long To string her husband along How in the hell could she think that was okay. I choose dinner with Judith over Obama and over Rihanna and even my celeb wife Charlize Theron. I would die to dine with all three, but if I'm being real and I want to be real in a world full of people, the only person I'd want over for dinner is you. Yes, in a world full of people who all haven't hurt me the way that you hurt me, the only person I'd want over for dinner is you. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. to ask me? Ask you what? Who I'd want over for dinner. I bet I can guess. And I bet you'd be right. It's you. Well, obviously, Judith, yes. Come on, let's go. Watch your step. Definitely wearing the wrong shoes. Come on, well, just then, take your shoes off. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Give me your... Just take it first. Come on. Come on, run. I got it. I got it. Stop. Whoa, whoa. I'm not going to carry you. Come on, just give me your hand. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is not funny. I don't know why you're laughing. Okay. That was insane. 
You're soaked. You're soaked. <laughs> Henry? Uh, yeah, it, Jace is looking for the duck, who I can only assume is loving this. I'm a total duck novice, though. Uh, Jace, there's a lot of water coming in. Yeah, that's just the roof. I was in the middle of shingling. Uh, oh, thank God. Okay, he's under the uh, table. Will you help me? Uh, yeah, yeah. What What can I... Uh, just put the phone down for a second and stand uh, over there and keep him from booking it, okay? Uh, Is the door closed? Uh, yeah, I closed it. Come on. Come on, buddy. Uh, uh, Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, just a little shaken up. I'm cold, buddy. I'm cold. Judith, get the blanket. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Thanks. Oh, that's better. Is that better? Okay. Is that all better? Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, you're safe now. Shh, 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 shh. Can I pet him? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> he likes it when you scratch the top of his head. Uh, okay. But like this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, he's really effing cute. For the record. Thank you. He's a good listener. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Shh, shh. Okay, it's okay. You're okay, buddy. It's just the ceiling filling up with water. Oh, right Probably just a dead tree falling. Whoa. That sounded like some Cloverfield shit. Well, there's nothing I can do about it right now. Our best game plan is to hunker down here and wait it out. We'll see what needs immediate repairs in the morning. And by we, I mean me and Henry, obviously. Obviously. For the record... Hmm? For the record what? <laughs> you just undressed me with your eyes. I did not. You did? I... I looked at your shirt. Let it be known that sparks flew. No sparks. No sparks. For the record, for the record, my eyes just happened to glance down at Natalie's shirt. Judith. At Judith's shirt because it's completely see-through and her nips are like totally out there for everyone to see. So they are. So you see how that could be awkward. Right. Because it's like, whose tits are these anyway? You're joking, but actually- Are you gonna let me borrow a shirt? Wait, was this part of your plan? <laughs> yeah, Chase. <laughs> I made this storm happen because I'm an X-Man now. Is your stuff upstairs? Assuming the roof hasn't blown off? Uh, second door on the left, third drawer in the dresser. Please don't poke around. I left my phone down there as collateral. Feel free to toss it out the window if you catch me snooping. Okay, but hurry up, please. I don't have all night to do the questions. And I'd like to be up at a reasonable time tomorrow morning. I have a lot of stuff to... Burn to the ground. Just, I don't want to hear it, Henry, okay? You saw how I tried to deflect. She's unstoppable. Thank you, doorbell. Glad to hear you weigh in on this, too. <sighs> 35 questions. I'm not gonna get through four. For the record, this is self-destructive. For the record, I'm aware of that. For the record, I've been picturing her body draped over the sofa wearing nothing but her hat. For the record, mm, I'm screwed. Mm. For the record, this can still go my way. For the record, I can keep my pride All I have to do is keep us focused on the questions Each one of her responses will remind me how she lied That's the answer That's what I'll do I'll use the 36, 36, 36, 36 Questions as a lifeline And of course I have sympathy For the pathological liar who did this to me Yes, I admit, I wish I could touch her But the questions will make one thing clear There's nothing left of my old life to spare No matter how much I may Ta-da! Ah, uh, what's up? <clears throat> what do you think? About what? My jersey Go see wolves Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> go see wolves Anyway, I was just uh, setting the table here oh. I don't know why I did that, that's weird it makes perfect sense to me. It's kind of like a weird first date. <laughs> Which is why we really ought to have more booze. I have whiskey, but um, did you, did you want wine? Do you have wine? Yeah. The glass shattered on the chiller last night, but I think the reds are okay. I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll get them. I'll be right back. Stay with Judith, Henry. <gasps> 
Okay, Henry. I can't imagine all the horrible stuff you've heard about me. Well, it's all true. But you don't seem like the kind of duck who holds a grudge. You're not a whiskey drinker, are you? No. You keep your wits about you. I like that. For the record, I did not expect this. I really thought that it would be a harder sell. I came up with this plan at 4 a.m. on Interstate 10. How was I to know that it would work so well? For the record, I haven't thought a lot about the way I'll answer. I guess I'm still afraid that I might lie. If only I could make him see if I was given the choice of telling him the truth or sticking knives into my eyes, I'd pick the knives. But I'll survive. I'll treat the 36, 36, 36, 36 questions as a pastime. 36, 36, 36, 36 questions just like last time. And maybe it's wrong to say, but his defense and distance will not sway me from believing this is possible. If he didn't. Hey. What's up? Uh, there's a good chance that this wine is terrible. Uh, I, I'd settle for drinkable. I make no promises. Oh, you lit candles. Uh, yeah, I thought it'd help set the mood. What's the mood? Hopeful. Just like our first date. When we sat on your carpet, drank two bottles of wine. This is different. Two years have gone by, my whole life was a lie But, but there's something that feels so familiar We've been here before Staring at each other Suddenly caring for each other Moving on to question two Would you like to be famous? In what way? Reasons why you and I cannot be healthy for each other. We're asking 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36,